Hey guys, Cobra 8000 here. Welcome back to World Tanks Blitz. E50M time because my girl needs the love. My big girl needs the love. Now, they've nerfed it, kind of. What they've, uh, well, then they buffed it a bit. Um, the reload, I think, without everything is 7.2. I think that's how they how they changed the stats. That's without everything. It would be 7.2. With all of your equipment and everything that I run, I obviously don't run Gun Rammer because I can't aim. So it's 6.5 now. I think it was 6.8. Uh, that's a point three seconds. That's In this game, that's a lot. Uh, it's good. I like it. It's a good change. What they did nerf is um, you lose like 10 DPM on your AP, but it's now AP, it's a, it's now AP instead of APCR. Um, AP always has better penetration than APCR. Um, watch my stream bases that explain shell normalization. Um, AP has better shell normalization, so it gets better penetration overall. Its dispersion was increased, but you can still get it down real low. I think it's a fantastic. Um, I wouldn't say nerf. It's buff, kind of. Here's what I run. Calibrated. Improved modules, because I got a RAM stuff. Optics, because, what, I mean, because, you know, I need to see. Camelnet isn't going to help you. Um, enhanced gun lane drive for the aim time. Um, I always use the improved armor, because I think this is the one tank where it does matter. Maybe with the mouse, you can get away with it too. Uh, I tend to bounce more with this, and you do, with as big as the tank you are, you kind of need it. Um, now, I'm using the whole traverse rate, because I think it's better to turn. Um, it's kind of up to you, what you want to use there. But usually, the whole turning faster is always better. Always. Dispersion. Now, I was running this for a while, but I've since been using this for the last couple of days. This has made it a lot better, so I... Suggest maybe you use uh, refined gun. Obviously, 30% uh, 30% module repair is better. High end consumables, the duration, making it last longer. That adrenaline it really helps with the adrenaline. No live game play today. I just I've got a couple really good games. Uh, a couple. We're gonna save the best for last, as always. Now. I'm going to be honest, I've been trying to record this for like the last four hours. Couldn't really get anything going. Didn't want to stream today. Um, as always, the E50M's weakness is that it's big. Big tank means there's more space to hit. Means you need more armor. Upper plate's nice, but it doesn't always work. Get pinned with a turret pretty easy. We're going to go to the left flank here. Um, we are going to hold off any tanks that come that way. We've got a Vickers going to the mid to spot things up. We have a... I don't know if it'll let me... And it is really fighting. We have an FV behind us in a whole re. Obviously we're going to fight the bat chat, get a shot at him. T-62's there. We're going to do some more trading with the bat chat when he pokes back out. There's a 183 behind him, I believe. Obviously, the heavy that went that way is going to get raped. I'm going to wiggle, overextend the back end a little too much. He's going to pin his shots. We're going to get two into him. Bounce misses the third. We don't get another one into him, which is disappointing. But. It was a good trade. Now, the 183 comes, and I uh, I decided it's time to leave, because that thing is going to kill me. Managed to get away with it. We're going to get another shot on him, because he's not paying attention. Wanted to get two, but he would have he most definitely shot us. Now we're going to tunnel the T-62, because he's getting punished. Nice round into the side. We're up to 2k. Pretty good. They've lost their heavy. Looks like they're about to lose another one on the flank. 183 is still tunneling me, so I'm not going to shoot him. 
and get another nice shot into the T62. I actually wonder if I, if it didn't have the alpha nerf, we would have killed him. 23 is going to move up. We're going to move out of his way. And then we're going to get him, because he will be the last one left. To pick up the win, we are going to get the glorious, the glorious, I can look coming. And there it is. The Ram. Good game. Good start. Good start. It's a good, nice start. Nothing special. Nothing special. We have another at Fort Despair. Um, this one was pretty good. Got some... Mean. So, with them lowering the overall DPM by decreasing it by 10, because that is a lot, if you, if you think about it. It does affect the, the roll. Uh, and them increasing the dispersion means that that does create some problems you'll miss a little bit. Um, doesn't really matter that much. Now, I was going to go right, but everyone else wanted to go left, so we're going to go left instead. We're going to follow the TVP. We're going to go to the uh, spot there. We're going to spot the, or the TVP, spot the STV. No, no good shot, though. Ignore him. AMX-30 is over there. Obviously, nothing there yet. They do push that way, but... Oh, well. I'm gonna shoot the bush, because he st could still be there. Get him to move. Don't know if I ever hit him, but... Mm. Now, the Concept 1 and the... Thir oh, well, there's the 30, so he moves. So I guess I did get a nice, quick shot into the Concept. Concept has bad side armor. Um, so that makes it bit sad, because you can easily pin it through the sides most of the time. So, maybe not try to side scrape into it. TVP is going to put his last shot into the concept. We are going to shoot the Vickers, only one round into him. Then we're going to get a nicely round into the side again, pinning him there. Again, that weak side armor. Vickers going to run off. Try and get another one into him. Don't quite get I should have just pulled out all the way and shot him. Gonna get hit anyways. That's why I did it. Vickers doesn't come back. We are gonna go assist the heavies because they need it. Uh, shot into the 402. Not gonna get another one into him. Pop the adrenaline. Don't get to use it that long. Get two shots out though. Into the back of the 100 with AP. Another one nice and come up to 2k. No more shots into the uh, B100. B100's new uh, uh, turret front is annoying. Try to get one into him, but no cigar. We're gonna pull around. We're gonna kill the. We're gonna kill him. Pick up another win. Um, with the way the E50M is, though, uh, it has no armor. Okay, it really doesn't. As much as we love to flail that it does, it doesn't. It's not a bad thing. But you, you really do have to work its gun and work its armor. You can get nice bounces against mediums. Against, they struggle, but don't, don't try to do it against heavies. You'll get that lucky bounce, but don't, don't expect. Don't expect to be bouncing all the time. Final one is on canal. This was the uh, the best game of the day, so I decided that we would finish with this. Uh, you've only got eight degrees of blood depression, so you, it's a bit hard to work hills. You can get away with it. We got a projector with us, so we're gonna head to the left. It's a good place to go. Good place to start. You know, the best thing about the German tanks is you have that really nice gun. Accuracy is incredible with them. If you've seen an E100, you can literally snipe in an E100. Let's spot the TVP. Obviously, he pulls back, doesn't shoot me. I'm going to stay here as I don't want to poke around and get hit by their tank destroyer, wherever it is. 
4,500 and actually there's the tank destroyer. We're gonna get a nice... We're gonna get a nice shot into him. Now they're gonna pull over and try and kill the frog. They are gonna be successful, sadly. There wasn't much I could do to save him, but we're gonna pound and tunnel the fuck out of this guy. And he's gonna get real salty about it, because, you know, he has to. We track him, we get that ram, we get the ram, we get the ram, the obviously the most important ever. Now this guy tries to run, but we're gonna get him too. Oh, <laughs> nice tunnel. He would have done the same, and you just tunneled the fog, so. Now we sit here, looking for a shot. We'll try to get one on the 50B, to no cigar. 50B is nasty with that four shots now. Instead, the KPP, the KPZ is going to pop up, uh, and we're going to go, we're going to go say hello to him. Mostly because he's closest, and the yo is heading that way, so we make it work. Now he goes down, I decide not to, as that would become a pit, and it wouldn't be very fun to get stuck in. Instead, we're just going to wait. We're going to get a shot. Into the 5120. Get the way. Then we're gonna pick up the clean on the uh, KPB. Then we're gonna clear the 50B as he doesn't go back down far enough to hide. Clean him. Then we're gonna clean the 50B because he's gonna sit in the open. That's one. We're up to 3K. Nice. Very good. Now, I thought that was the WZ-121 earlier. I forget how small the 113 is. I'm pretty sure I'm as big as the 113. So we ram him. The mouse pins him. Get that nice ram damage. Obviously, the ram, the ram, ram is so important. Pick up the kill, and we get 4,677 damage. To pick up with our, our final win. I'd say that was pretty good. I think I did a I think I did a good job. Um Yeah. It's I actually think the E fifty M is better. I think they buffed it in the in a mini in a in a in a way. Instead of nerfing it like I was I was told. I was I was lied to. Um in in fact I, I actually still stand by what I've said. I, I think the dispersion. Sh I don't think they should have nerfed it all. I think they should have lowered the dispersion. Uh, I think the only thing they should have done is maybe lower the damage, increase the dispersion, increase the reload. In fact, I think the reload should be, without everything, a flat seven seconds. So but that's just me. It's a good medium. It's good at sniping. It's very good. I recommend that you do use refined gun it seems to work a lot better than the aim time anyways that's going to do it for today uh, i hope you enjoyed not what i normally do but i i wanted to much rather just do some replays uh, i think i'm going to go back to that i'm going to start hunting for replays again um going to really start getting back into making videos going to be streaming maybe once or twice a week or when i just feel like it um Tomorrow, I'm going to start a new Rule the Waves, because um, I'm quite disappointed with our, our current campaign. I, I might try and sort it out. Maybe. Maybe. We're going to see. Um, if I don't, tomorrow is going to be the start of my, my new American campaign. That's going to be the, the plan. Uh, and I might start it anyways. I'll just do... That'll be my live stream one. So I think that would be fun. Everybody can see me fuck up in real time. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.